Hey guys, welcome back to Musician of a Lifetime, where music is all that matters. In this video, I'm going to be reviewing this clarinet. Okay, I'm not going to lie, but I already have opened it, so don't mind that. So I've already seen what's inside, but I'm going to show you guys what's inside as well. So first, we have this nice, beautiful case, and it says Buffet Crampon on it, and it's got the logo and everything, and it's just black. It's actually pretty nice. I don't know if you can tell the material, but it looks kind of leatherish, but I don't know if it actually is. But anyway, and um, it's got gold latches. I don't know if you can tell. It's got gold latches, so you can close it. So, let's go ahead and open it. So this is what it looks like inside. And that's the clarinet. There it is. And this is, this clarinet is called the Buffet Crampon R13 clarinet. So, <laughs> so, and this is the nickel plated model. There's also a silver plated model. Okay, so the first thing when you open the case, you have these papers, I guess. Yeah, they just are warranty papers and stuff. And it gives you a swab, like it comes with a swab. So what the swab looks like, it says Buffet Crampon on it. So that's a nice thing to have, and it's actually really soft. It looks like it's made out of microfiber or something. And then it comes with a ligature. Um, it's actually a pretty nice ligature. I don't know if you can see it. It says Buffet Crampon Paris. I don't know if you can see it. Buffet Crampon Paris. I don't know. Okay, so we have that. And then... It also comes, now what's cool about this case is that is it actually comes with little keys and the locks are actually on the latches down here. I don't know if you can see. Locks are, let me see if I can pull it, are those black circle things. Those are the locks and you can lock it so nobody can get into it. So that's what that's for. Put that down there. Put the ligature down there. And then it also came with some buffet crampon court grease, and it came with a. I actually think this pencil is pretty cool. It's like a black pencil, and it's got like clarinet keys on it, but it also says buffet crampon. So that's what came with it, and then I have just all this extra stuff in it. I don't know if you can see it. Okay, next is a clarinet. So this is the upper joint. This is actually very nice. It's nice and shiny. It's got the Buffet Crampon logo on it. And the wood is actually pretty good. It's nice and smooth. I don't see anything wrong with it so far. And the keys are actually pretty nice. And if you, I don't know if you can hear. The keys don't make that much of a clicky sound. So that's pretty nice. So that's the upper joint. There's a register key. So that's the upper joint. Then we have the lower joint, which is I think my favorite part about it. Um, this is what it looks like. It does it. It has the logo on the bottom this time, and it's really nice actually. The keys aren't as clicky as my old clarinet. They're not as clicky. Um, and while the wood is actually pretty smooth, there's not really anything to complain about. And the thumb rest actually is really cool because it's flat and it's adjustable too. See this screw, you can unscrew it and then you can change the thumb rest. So that is the lower joint. Now this, actually this might be my favorite part of it. I know I said it was a lower joint before, but I think this is my favorite part. This is the barrel, and it's got the it's got the Buffet Crampon logo on it. I don't know. So, and it says Made in France, and it's got the logo. So this is the barrel, 360 view. <laughs> 
and it actually, I don't know if you can see, it says R13 on it, which is the name. And then it didn't come with a mouthpiece, but it did come with this really cool, um, oh, I got fingerprints all over it. It came with this mouthpiece cover, which also says Buffet Crampon on it. So, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to do a key click difference. This is my old clarinet here. Um, it's a Noble clarinet. And then this right here is my new one. So I'm going to put it together. Okay, so this is the new clarinet when it's all put together. That's just my old mouthpiece, so ignore that. It's M30. It's a Van Dorn M30, but this is what the clarinet looks like when it's all put together. So, here is my old clarinet. I'm going to have you listen to the uh, keys and see how clicky they are compared to the R13, or my new one. So that is actually pretty clicky, and here's my new one. So see, you, you can tell it's not as clicky, which is actually very nice. Now what I really love about this clarinet is that it's very lightweight compared to my other one. This one's pretty heavy. If you ask me, I'm not sure, maybe it's just me, but this one seems a lot more, um, a lot more heavier than my R13. And, um, yeah, it just seems like that. Maybe it's the way it's built or the wood or something. This is made out of Grenadilla wood, and I don't know what type of wood this is made out of. So now... Um, I'm going to do a play test. So I'm just going to play a scale on it. So it actually sounds really good. Um, it's got nice warm sound and it's very, it's got like a colorful sound too. So it's actually pretty resistant, which for me is good because I still need to work on my air. Um, and the high notes actually come out pretty good too. So now I'm going to do like how resistant is whenever I play really quiet. Now I'm going to play really loud. Sounds very good. That's my clarinet, or the my new R13, and I'm going to switch over to my old one, and I'll be right back. Okay. So, now, I feel like this one sounds a lot better. Not just because it's new, but because, you know, it just is more resistant, and it sounds more bright. This one sounds too open. Like, it's just kind of, I don't know. Like, it's just more, I don't know how to describe it, but it's a lot more open. But I like this one better. So, yeah. So that is uh, my review on the R13 Buffet Crampon Professional Nickel Plated Clarinet. And this is a B-flat clarinet. I hope you enjoyed. 
please make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you can get notified for one of my videos. This is what it looks like one more time. Thank you for watching, and as always, I'll see you next time. Bye! And um, this is what the bell looks like. It says Buffet Crampon on it, and it's got the logo, and again, it says Made in France. And it's really nice. The wood, you can see like the wood, I don't know if you can see very good, but you can see like the wood, it's kind of a brownish color, but it's like a really dark brown, but it's super nice.